Hey everybody, my name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas, and I am standing in front of our Chrismon tree in our Family Life Center. You have probably seen a tree like this growing up, or maybe there's even one in your church right now. It looks like a tree that's covered in Christian emojis, doesn't it? Well, they're symbols, and we call this a Chrismon tree. Chrismon is a combination of the words Christ and monogram, and all of these ornaments represent some sort of theology about Jesus Christ, and they help us to remember Christ at Christmas. I thought it would be a good idea to look at all of these ornaments through the holiday season from now all the way until Christmas Day, and today we are going to look at the symbol of the dove. Now, we did look at a descending dove a couple of days ago. Dove meanings and symbolism have included peace, love, devotion, navigation, messages, grace, gentleness, purity, the Holy Spirit, the human soul, and of course, hope. And typically, many of those meanings come to us from the biblical story of Noah. The dove has also been a long-standing symbol of peace worldwide. I mean, we can even remember as far back as the hippie movement of the 60s and 70s they used the symbol of the dove. But on a Christmas tree, remember, it has to also be related to Jesus. So these monograms teach us all something about Jesus. Well, when I see the dove, it reminds me of one of my favorite Old Testament prophecies about Jesus, and it's one we say at Christmas. Isaiah 9, 6, For to us a child is born, and to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. You know, it's in our verbiage that Christmas time is a time of peace on earth. But sometimes it feels like anything but. Even now, as I record these videos in my head, I'm thinking about all of the remaining videos I need to write and record, plus write and record my next two sermons and get ready for the Christmas concert this Sunday at 10 o'clock and the Christmas party at my house that same evening. And that's just my list. What about your list? Is it peaceful? This Christmas, remind yourself of the peace that Jesus brings. You know, he never intended for his birth to be so busy or to bring you stress. Christmas is a wonderful time and it should be spent with peace. Merry Christmas.